Hey, what's up, PlayStationShow.com? This is Pantera Down 2. And I got a special surprise to show you guys. It's a game that isn't cur currently out yet. It's called Dead Nation. The latest and greatest from House Marquee after their masterpiece Super Stardust HD. Um, this game is great. Let's check it out. This game just has all the feel and detail and just polish. Lots of polish everywhere. Like they took their time with this and it's beautiful. I love this game. And it's, it's just got so many aspects to it. Upgrading um, your weapons, um, uh, your armor. Um, you're actually moving through different levels, getting from point A to point B. So it's not like that of Super Stardust HD, where you're flying around a planet and you're you're in an arena, like in Zombie Apocalypse, which I think was the downfall of that game, even though it was decent. But um, this just is leaps and bounds better than Zombie Apocalypse, and it isn't even in the same class as Zombie Apocalypse. It's just, it doesn't compare. So, I'm going to show you where I am in the current campaign with some upgraded weapons, some different enemies, um, the different armor, so you'll see um, a bit of the, of the game further in. It's good to hear your voice, Mr. McCree. It seems that you are unaffected by the violence. That is an extremely rare condition. So, so I'm going to skip through the story. I don't think you guys want to even see that. So, um... There's, there's actually a story to this, which is neat. There's this really cool news ticker down at the bottom, which is telling you all sorts of things all over the world. And, um, there's also this really cool, um, virus cycle where it shows you like all the different countries competing to killing off I think now, I'm not sure about this killing off the zombies in their country I think that's what they're trying to say with the zombie or, or the virus cycle I'm not sure but it's pretty neat and we're in second place versus UK which this is a UK made game so let's let's just give it to them but uh here we go so I'm a little ways into the game now. I think, I think that I'm playing the full version. I hope not, because I, I, I really would like, um, I, oh, even if I am playing through the full version, I'm buying this game. I will buy this game, and I will play it again with all my friends in co-op and everything else. So, what, what happens is, is that when you beat a level, you get to one of these safe points, and there's a shop, and I have to go through the gate, Proceed. So you got the shop here. You go into the shop. Um, I got a fully upgraded rifle. Almost. I got, I got the SMG pretty uh, amped up. And the shotgun pretty amped up. Oh, shit. The rocket launcher. <laughs> I gotta buy this. Gotta get that rocket launcher, right? Seriously. And we'll add, um, nah, we'll start off with just the same clip and reload our ammo. So you got to buy some ammo. So I'm buying plenty of flamethrower because I like the flamethrower. Um, B Smith, I know you don't like flamethrowers, but you get a big effective area with it. So shotguns. Can't have enough shotguns. And if you want to upgrade it, you just scroll over to the, all the, the clip size, the power, the fire rate. Um, I think the fire rate with the shotgun. And we'll add some power to it. And then we'll go to the SMG. Load up on ammo. We'll add a fire rate to that. And a clip size to it. 
And what the hell. We'll do a power also. Because I think we have enough money to get what uh, the other things. So we want some grenades. Some flares. Um, mines are cool. I don't like Molotovs. Because I don't like catching on fire. Um, you got the armor. You pick different armor pieces depending on what you want to do. So it looks like... Yeah, I don't know why anybody would want... Well, this this gives you a lot more strength. This one gives you more endurance. So there's three stats. Strength, endurance, and agility. And you pick your all the armor pieces based on what you want to have um, for those kind of stats. Um, you gotta you gotta mix and match them. So I'm gonna go with some more strength because I never go with strength. Um, now let's just get into the game. So let's let's play with our. You select left or right. They give you this game is really simple. So you get a bunch of different controls for selecting your guns and all your other different weapons. Now um, let's just start off with the rifle here. You aim with the right stick, and you fire with R1. So it's a little bit different than Super Stardust HD, and, and you move with the left stick. So I, I, I sort of went with this philosophy of, of maxing out the rifle as much as I can, because you get unlimited bullets with the rifle. So, uh, I kind of wanted that kind of good backup. So if you throw out a flare like I did, they'll get all excited and run over to it and won't focus on you. Now, um, you, you press in the aim button, the right stick, to reload. You can dash with L2, sort of like in Super Stardust. Um, let's try the SMG now. So the rifle is cool because it, it's the only one with the laser sight. The rest of it, you have to use your flashlight to kind of tell where you're going to shoot at. Now, if guys are getting too close to you and kind of overwhelming you, you want to press R2, and you'll do like this melee attack because most of your guns have uh, a bayonet on the front of them, so you can slice them and knock them away from you. Now, now the key to this game is the loot, because if you go up to some most cars, I guess not police cars. Oh shit! What is that? I don't think I've seen that enemy before. That's a big enemy. I've never seen him before. Again, this is kind of a ways into the game. Um, maybe like four or five levels. Here. That's the rocket launcher. And it is just blowing up people, and I don't know why I started using it at this point, but it kind of damaged me. Honestly, the the good the 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 trusty rifle is one of my favorites. It never fails you. You have unlimited ammo. You have, I have a big clip of 40 bullets, um, so you can last a long time. It's really accurate. It doesn't miss. You know? Um, see how they, they were crowding around me right there? I never played this level before. They, they, they surrounded me. So, uh... Holy shit. That was crazy. You really gotta watch your back. And usually if they're coming up from behind you, the best thing to do is dash back the way you were coming through the crowd because there's chances are there's more zombies in front of you than they are in back of you because you just came from that area. 
So the um, you can shoot the uh, vending machines and it'll distract the zombies and they'll all want to go over to it. This is a shotgun. Has a pretty wide effective area. So I shot the um, the vending machine over here to make them all go over to it and they get all freaked out or whatever and and get entranced by it or whatever. So is that the end of the level there? Because that was pretty short. I'm going to go back and explore because the other thing in this game that's really cool is the loot. There's loot, everybody. Yes, 